As a girl, I should dare to learn more and also dare to know more. I have to go the extra mile and dare to make it. I'm from a community called Zongo, Nima, Alaska, a coined name for a place with dominant Muslims. Parents there have problems with sending their girl child to school, and it is even worse in the northern part of Ghana. Some parents in the northern part of Ghana really want to send their girls to school, but there are no funds available. This parent hence forced their girls into early marriages with the hope that when she gets married, she will get the money from her husband to take care of the family. Religion can also be an obstacle for parents sending their girl child to school. Some girls go to school and then forget their religion because since the northern part of Ghana is predominantly Muslims, parents are scared to take their girls to school with the fear that they will forget their religion, which is their identity as Muslims. Another aspect of the problem is the girl child getting educated and being disrespectful to her future husband and the community at large. Most of these girls go from the northern part of the country to the southern part of Ghana, the capital, to search for greener pastures. They come to Accra and get a cultural shock because they have no nowhere to sleep. Some have to sleep in kiosks on the streets and even some have to sleep in, the, in front of people's shop. They sought to helping people carry their goods or loads that are heavy for them to carry. These women carry this super heavy goods on their head and this is what is coined as the Kayayu trade in Ghana, which also means headquarters. They can't go back to the north because they have made promises to their families, friends and themselves to get rich before they go back. They get wet when it rains, sometimes some are abused and raped and uh, their kids turn, uh, turn out not knowing the, their fathers, which is very disheartening. And it's disheartening to see girls as young as 11 years old doing this business. The Girl Child Education Project is a project my friends and I are working on. It aims at sensitizing and empowering girls from the northern part of Ghana about the need and importance of education. this project in specific places in the northern region, Upper West and Upper East. Some of the districts we chose are Sablugu, Konja and the Mion, among others, because the northern part of Ghana is at a disadvantage so far as girl child education is concerned. We thought it, we thought it wise to have a face-to-face -face contact with mothers because they are the role model for the girl child. At the end of this project, we hope to see a massive enthusiasm of parents to send their girl child to school. The U.S. State Department is funding this project, but the U.S. Embassy in Accra and AFS IEP Accra are also um, sponsoring and helping out in the project. We are partnering with uh, the NCC as a National Commission on Civic Education and other women empowering NGOs in Ghana to undertake this project. We hope to start early September and end ending November. It should be a three-month intensive program.